The New York Times broke the story this past week that some notables have been using ghostwriters to compose their ostensibly personal Twitter messages. So why does Twitter rate so much coverage? Here to weigh in on that is Nancy Giles, in her own words. Twitter. I've heard that people are Twittering about me, and I'm almost excited, but what exactly does that mean? Twitter sounds like what happens when something gets in your eye. But Twitter is the newest sensation in the IT world. Not it, but information technology. So, what are you doing? It's one of the first questions we often ask friends and family. Even if the answer is just mowing the lawn or cooking dinner, it's interesting to us. It makes us feel connected and a part of each other's lives. According to the website, Twitter is a service for friends, family, and coworkers to communicate and stay connected through the exchange of quick, frequent answers to one simple question. What are you doing? And once you're signed up, you can read other Twitter people's notes called tweets. Okay, so it's a kind of blogging, you know, expressing yourself on the internet. An online diary, almost. But didn't diaries used to be private? They had a lock on the cover, remember? Twitter, which started about three years ago, has exploded into the hippest messaging system. We've already got email, instant messaging, texting, MySpace, and Facebook. And now you can send a tweet around the world or just to the next cubicle. Tweet sounds so cute, doesn't it? Young people love it. So do the media. You're on Twitter, too? And a lot of people already Twittering. I got an email or Twitter this morning. I don't know how I feel about the news being so interactive. Politicians do it. The famed Luddite Senator John McCain is Twittering away. Even jurors are doing it. Judges may have to declare mistrials because jurors are Googling and Twittering about the cases. What's wrong with us? Are our attention spans so shattered that we can't even concentrate when we're on a jury? Too much sitting still? Got to do something with your hands? What are we, first graders fidgeting in church? Sheesh. What are you doing? I don't want people to know what I'm doing. I don't want to know what other people are doing constantly. Oh, by the way, you're limited to 140 characters to answer that question, and I don't know if that includes spaces. What are you doing? I'm wondering, if you use Twitter, are you considered a twit? Commentary from Nancy Giles.